Hi, this is Ted at Cotton Ranch and Kennel with another story. This happened several years ago. Probably uh, we'd owned the ranch a couple of years, 1992 or so. And this lady asked me to come uh, run her two English setters across the property, uh, wide open spaces, and I had agreed to do that. However, I told her at that particular day I couldn't go with her because I had an appointment with my son. Uh, probably, oh gosh, five years old at the time, four or five years old. And David had a brand new remote boat. So we were going to go up to the pond that day, so I couldn't go out and run the dogs with her. We were going to go to the pond and, and uh, try out his brand new remote boat with the uh, you know, remote button and the brand new beautiful motor and uh, try it out. So the lady showed up, I was here to greet her, and she went off in another direction with her dogs. And these dogs had every electronic collar, whistles and bells hooked up to them and way more electronics than I used to using around here. But I said, that's fine, you go for it uh, on your way. So Dave and I went up to the pond and uh, we're getting ready to sail with the brand new boat. It's a little jet boat, a little motor boat. And uh, I'm holding, holding the boat at the time and David's got the controller. And all of a sudden the motor starts going, vroom, vroom. And I immediately say, David, stop pushing the button. And he, even at five years old, assured me, Dad, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't touch it. Well, in the meantime, the boat's still going, vroom, vroom. I go, David, quit touching the button. So at this point, I take the button away from David. So anyway, I put the boat in the motor, or the boat in the water. And then uh, all of a sudden, I'm holding the controller, and I'm not pushing the button. And all of a sudden, the boat takes off across the pond, vroom, vroom. And I'm like, oh, buddy, you weren't touching it. And all of a sudden, we just keep looking, and the boat keeps going, vroom, 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 vroom. Well, we're just sitting here with holding this thing, amazing that this is a self-remote boat here. It doesn't need any controls. And all of a sudden, I look up, and here comes those two white dogs. Well, it turns out the lady's pushing the button all the time on, her, on their electric collars, and it's the same frequency as the boat. <laughs> So the boat keeps going across the pond, and the dogs keep going, dee, dee, and <laughs> the boat keeps going, and, and uh, we never touch the button. Uh, finally, we see the owner about a half mile chasing these two dogs uh, up and over, but in the meantime, our boat's still going, vroom, vroom. Um, <laughs> we just started laughing, and I ex explained it to my son later on when he got older exactly how that happened. Uh, Anyway, moral of the story is she was touching that button way too many times. Uh, if I use an electronic collar on some of those breeds, you know, it's, it's like once, twice for the day period. Anyway, it's, it's a funny story uh, with David and his remote boat, the electronic collars. Thanks, this is Ted Cotton Ranch Ranching Kennel. So, how are you doing?